Okay, so today we're going to be trying to cast some brass. These are fairly simple parts that are sort of long and deep, uh, not really any complex features. Um, so we have some scrap brass that we're going to cut up, and then we made some plaster molds, same sort of recipe. These have been in the oven at 260 for quite a while, nice and melted out. So this is going to be like a, a key for a chuck lathe, or a lathe uh, chuck? A lathe chuck. It's going to be longer than the normal one. Yeah, so this is pretty basic, so hopefully it'll work well to pour. So we're going to bake these all a bit more, but they should be pretty dry, so we just want to get them up a bit higher in temperature and warm up the brass. Yeah, no problem. You don't want to load All right, then we're just going to take the ceramic fiber wool and leave it for a while. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of basically used brass fittings. Uh, some of it's going to be kept, but we have loads of these caps. So that's about a full load for that. That's a two kilogram crucible, I think? Yep. So we got a larger one for doing larger castings. The small stuff will still be pretty good. Oh yeah, we also got a uh, some larger molds as well. And then depending on how much we fill them, you know, they'll be able to either fit in the large one or the small one. But yeah, we just got a bunch of brass we're going to melt down too. Okay, so it's only probably been like 15 minutes and those are nice and hot, so I'm guessing any plastic that was left in there is probably dripped out. Return to ash. Ash. Figure out where they're all gonna go. Yeah, I guess we'll just cost the uh Toss the crucible in next, and then we'll wait for that to melt however long that'll take. Okay, it's been maybe a little under 10 minutes, and we're already getting a nice healthy red glow on one of them. So let's go ahead and pop the cover off and just take a quick look. Yeah, we've got a nice, uh, nice color on the brass as well there. So that's definitely heating up. You can see it sort of forming that weird color on it. That big one's definitely going to take more time. So we'll just close it back up. Okay, so our small one is definitely ready for some more brass. Big one looks like it is as well. Oh yeah, wow, those are... Uh... Working their way down? Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> that white build-up looks like there might actually be, yeah, some zinc in these as well. Yeah, if we were doing this more often, we would get <coughs> some zinc to increase the percentage back up to make the brass yeah, closer to what it's supposed to be. And that one still has a gap to it. And good to go. All right. There should be much more. All right, so that's been another good 10 minutes. So we're going to take a peek. Okay, so I think that is probably some zinc coming off there. <laughs> I think that is probably some zinc smoke coming off. Yep. So we do have a couple of these, by the way. It still needs more. There's still solid objects yeah. in the bottom.
right, so we're going to try and do a pour. Uh, yes, I've got a mask on, jacket, welding gloves, and a helmet. And then you're just going to stand back. Okay, so that first pour was really uh, kind of sludgy because it we just lost too much heat pouring off the dross uh, or taking off the dross. So we're just gonna throw it in. A little less spectacular than I was expecting. Well, I guess because it's no, yeah. All right, we'll let that break down for a while, and then we'll pour the other ones when they're hotter. So yeah, he uh, figured he'd pop the plaster molds in there to heat them back up. And the exact same sort of issue that I had with that spider web cracking, although actually pretty severe since they're so thin. We're probably gonna have to pack a lot more sand around those. But this is hopefully, that spider web cracking is hopefully what this kiln will, uh, will fix. So the only problem with the kiln is I'm waiting for a PID controller and the three-phase solid state relay to come in. The shipping for the temperature sensor was really fast, but the um, the PID controller is taking well, like a month fully to come, I think, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so the small one is hot enough, so we're gonna go ahead and do another pour. Yeah, so that smaller mold seems to heat up a lot better than the two kilogram one and it seems to hold the heat a lot better too even when you're poking a stick in it to get the dross out so you can see that one has a really nice healthy color to it the first one maybe not so much probably a bit more dross than that uh, so let it cool off for 20 minutes or something and then we'll dunk it back in the water okay so my mistake you are supposed to quench cool brass so we're gonna do that I 
I think, yeah, that's the one that I'm thinking is not too promising. That's actually, actually that's gonna work. Because I over lengthened it quite a bit. Yeah. So it's Shit, that's almost actually, an inch longer than it has to be. It's rough. Now, but this, it's pretty this surface is gonna be machined down, and I'm gonna polish up the ball. And then there's this is likely the female threaded end, and the other one should be even longer and be the male threaded end. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's better than I was expecting out of that one. You can absolutely see all of the um, print lines as well. It's you can really see here, obvious on the end of the ball. Yeah, you can see all of the stepping from the 3D print. I was expecting this one to be almost a failure. Um, Still can't find the other one. Yet. Oh yeah, you can even see the seam on the back of it from the 3D print. That's fucking awesome. That worked way better than I was expecting. I'm eager oh, to see that. The other one. Oh, that's even better. Nice. You can you can feel the layer lines in it, and on the top, the the lines. Lines. you can see where I didn't have the lines fine enough, so the steps are too coarse, and there's quite a large amount of defects and stuff, but that turned out great. That'll totally be functional. Yeah, that one looks really nice. Focus, there we go. That's great stuff. Yeah, I am super pleased with that. I'll have to print out a new... So obviously this was a simpler shape than the phone holder I was trying to mold. But I think just burning that one out better will be better. Burning okay. that one out properly. Will you try this one tomorrow? I print a new one up tonight? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, and then so for the rest of it, we're just going to pour it into those larger graphite molds. We're not going to bother filming that. It's just bars that we can melt down there later. So yeah, that is the best casting that we've gotten so far. Uh, unfortunately, not any parts that I need, but hopefully that'll, you know, just be part of the process. Okay, so here we have the second part cast, and this one turned out really well. So, yeah, that part was extended. It's going to get machined down, and you said you are going to machine down the outside a bunch too? Or? Uh, no, just on the back side along here to make a constant diameter to drill a hole for the right. T-handle. But yeah, so you can actually see all of the print lines, and you can actually see the layer lines on the very ends of it as well. So that's a really nice result, so I'm feeling pretty confident about casting other stuff. Especially since this was just with the really ghetto uh, stove burnout. Um, when the kiln is here, it should be a lot better.